Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. The cooler weather has definitely arrived and there are these things in the sky which I seem to remember are called clouds. I don't know, it's been so long since we've seen any. Anyway, they forecast some rain for later today or tomorrow and there's a few jobs I need to get done first. On this side of the garden, next to the apple spindles, I thought it might be nice to have some colour here this year. So I'm going to plant some sweet pea. Now obviously they'll need something to cling on to while they're climbing, so the obvious thing to do is to put some kind of net here. And for that I've got this netting which I'm going to staple on both sides of the arch. I'll just see how much I need. I'll just snip it with my pliers. That's great. Now I need to hold this in place and for that I'll use some galvanised wire staples. Excellent! Now I'm ready for my sweepies. I'm just going to dig in some compost to help retain moisture and improve the soil. I bought these from a local garden centre. They're only £3, quite good value really. And I'm just going to plant half of them because there's some frost forecasts this week. I'm not sure how frost hardy they are. And water them in. So here's hoping for a bit of colour in this part of the garden in the summer. Now later on in the year I'm going to plant some veggies in this bed so I want to prepare it, get ready for that. I want to make sure there's lots of nutrients and organic matter here and for that I need some poo. Eat it with custard while we're in the mood. Something that rhymes with custard. Oh, I'm happy as the proverbial pig here, quite literally. Now you might imagine this absolutely stinks, but actually it doesn't. I can't say it's fresh smelling, but it's not bad. You never know. The delicious smell of poo might even keep the cats off this for a while. Well, I reckon I'm done here. Oh look, a bit of cat poo. Well, let's see what the cats make of this. Now here's something interesting that I've learnt this week. You remember this climbing plant that I hacked down earlier in the year? Well, all the stuff I hacked is actually dead and there's lots of new shoots coming up from the base of this. So, I'm going to cut out all the old dead wood. Well, that'll certainly make pruning a lot easier next year. All I have to do is hack it down to ground level. There's real colour coming into the garden now. The grape hyacinth are looking particularly grape-like. I think I might have quite a few quints this year. The triffids are doing what triffids do best. And my plum tree is in blossom. The daffodils are okay, but all is not well. Something is eating my daffodils. Does anyone have any idea what that might be? I know you died to see it, so let's have a look at the third and final part of the great barbecue build. The concrete has been setting for the last four days, so now I can carefully remove the wooden frame. The 
the first piece is always the most difficult. one nice sturdy concrete slab. My concrete base is now ready to take bricks and for that I've got six bags of soft sand and two bags of cement and about 170 bricks here. There's a few over because I'm bound to break some while I'm cutting them. Lay out the first course of bricks with a centimetre between each brick for the mortar. Check that they're square and then make sure that your grill actually fits into the hole. Wonderful. Now mark around the line of the bricks. To mix the mortar I've got one bag of soft sand and I'm going to mix that with a third of a bag of cement. Lay down my first bed of mortar. So put your first brick in place. Use a spirit level make sure that it's level in both directions and work your way across the row. It's worth spending a little bit of time to get this base layer right because otherwise you'll be fighting against it all the way up the brickwork. Well I'm pretty happy with my first course so let's move on to the second course. Right, I'm going to carry on now and I'll see you again when I've done course 10. So here I am about to start the 11th course and on this course and also on the 13th course I'm going to have some part bricks sticking out like this on which to rest first of all the grill tray and then the grill itself. You can see how I've cut the bricks here for this particular layer. I'll repeat this on the other side and also on course 13. Well here we are for day two of the barbecue brickwork. It's all set nicely overnight so let's carry on. Well that's the first 14 courses completed. From now on I'm going to step the bricks back and that means that the tops of the bricks are going to be exposed. I don't really want the top of the barbecue to look like this so I've chosen a more decorative and contrasting brick to give a nicer top surface. Now all I need to do is let it sit for three or four days before I give it a good clean down and then get the barbecue going. Well that's all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Garden.